We are standing outside the office of Delhi Police Special Cell on the Lodi Road. Uh, uh, since the morning, Delhi Police conducted searches in the house of few journalists associated with the news click. In connection with a UAP case registered again, news clicks uh, getting funds from the from Chinese entities. Uh, after the searches, a few journalists has also been brought to the office of the Delhi Police uh, Special Cell here in the Lodi Road. Uh, today we have with us Siddharth Bhardwajan, the editor of The Wire. Uh, we'll speak to him about his views on this uh, whole episode that has been going on since the morning. So Siddharth, how do you see this whole episode? Like, you know, uh, we have seen since the morning searches has been going on in the houses of the journalists. How do you see this like you know, whole episode that has been going on? I think the fact that the Delhi Police Special Cell has invoked the unlawful activity Prevention Act against News Click and has proceeded on this fishing expedition to sweep up literally around a dozen uh, s senior journalists, well known uh, comedians, commentators, uh, tells you the extent to which freedom of the press in this country is being trampled upon. To suggest even for a second that News Click and its editors and the journalists associated with it are terrorists, are anti nationals, it just boggles the mind. And, uh, you know, uh, from time to time, the Modi government has been crying about the fact that India's ranking in global press indices has been falling. Well, this is a very good example of why that ranking has been falling and why it will continue to fall. Because if you're going to treat uh, journalists and editors and news organizations in this fashion, then uh, the message to the people of India and the whole world is very clear that you don't care about freedom of the press. So at the same time, the, it all started with the New York Times article, and then, like you know, the, our ministers, cabinet ministers, addressing a press conference, alleging like the news clicks, alleged China, China funding. So, uh, so how do you see it in terms of it was raised in the parliament as well? Yeah. So, uh, in that context, can you just uh, like? Well, th this this clearly proves that the police investigation is politically driven. Today, I saw a statement by the INB minister that in investigating agencies are working independently. Uh, but everything that you have narrated and the facts themselves tell us that this is a case where the government has directly foisted this charge onto, onto News Click and its editors and journalists. And the police is now trying to find information to prove this thesis. Uh, you know, the Chinese, the allegation in the New York Times was that News Click got funding from an American company and that the owner of the American company is pro Chinese. So, the money that came in from the American company to News Click, to the best of my knowledge, came in through banking channels. These were through the whatever route the RBI prescribes. And uh, they are the subject, I believe the ED is investigating that, so let them investigate it. And if you, if you believe that that money was somehow wrongfully sent or there was a wrong valuation, then you have a case that you can pursue. But to suggest that this is a terrorism case, uh, and with all the implications that, that that follows, right? Because the reason that UAPA uh, charges get put on somebody is to ensure that they don't get bail. Right. And we know how frustrated the uh, Modi government has been at the fact that uh, not only, uh, I mean, the question of bail hasn't, hasn't arisen, but the High Court had given protection to uh, the news click editors from arrest. And uh, the government is desperate to have that protection removed. So I see this fabrication of a terror case as part of that process of trying to ensure that they can get some of news click editors behind bars as quickly as possible. So uh, I, a few weeks ago, you also organized M20 event yes. where you discussed about a lot of uh, like free press, uh, freedom, uh, freedom of press in the various countries. So uh, in that context, I would like to know, uh, are you at the M20 group that was formed a few weeks ago? Are they going to uh, like, you know, do something on this issue as well? Are they going to do... So the, the, the M20 was an event that uh, some of us in, uh, in India organized to draw attention to the fact that uh, when a G20 event is happening in what is supposed to be the mother of democracy, how uh, freedom of the press in India is being violated and how freedom of the press, quite frankly, is under attack in many, many G20 countries around the world. So what emerged was a sense that uh, editors from all these different countries uh, share the same concerns. And I certainly intend to raise it, I intend to raise today's raids with uh, our colleagues uh, across the uh, you know, G20 spectrum. Uh, the editors of other papers, those who attended our event, uh, to make sure that they know what is happening and that they can raise uh, their concerns about the violation of freedom of the press in India uh, in whatever way that they could.
So how do you see it? Like re earlier also, like wire has also been targeted by the government in some or some way or the other way. So how it's uh, like in today it's news click. So well, it's very clear, right? That uh, and it's, it, the attack didn't start on us. I mean, the attack uh, uh, more than 50 or 60 journalists have been targeted over the last few years. Some of our colleagues in Jammu and Kashmir have been in jail under UAP now. Fahad Shah Sajad Gul for over a year. Siddiq Kappan was held in jail for more than a year and a half. Uh, so it's very clear that journalists are being targeted systematically. Uh, and it's not just in the form of raids or harassment or arrests, but the way in which laws are being changed, the way in which the IT Act, uh, IT rules have been drafted to allow the government the power to declare any news that it wants as fake news and have that order taken down. This is completely against the spirit and letter of uh, press freedom guaranteed by the Constitution of India. And it's essential that the, that the, the judiciary in India, which is duty-bound to ensure that the Constitution is implemented, uh, stand up and say that this is not acceptable. For more updates, please visit newslaundry.com. I'm Pratyush Deep reporting for News Laundry. Journalism at News Laundry is funded by the public. Because when the public pays, public is served. And when advertisers pay, Advertisers get served. Visit newslaundry.com slash subscription and pick a payment plan of your choice. Always remember, pay to keep news free and independent.